Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to CryptoCast, your source for all things cryptid related, unknown, paranormal. I'm your host, Parker, and welcome back to another Creepy Characters, where we're going to be taking a look at um, creatures from creepypastas and other kind of fictional medias and kind of just taking a look at them and analyzing them. Um, the last time we did this was Slenderman, and it was my very first one of those, and the response to that video was overwhelmingly positive, and I thank you guys all so much for that, because it was actually a very, very good video. Um, today we're going to be talking about another popular one that's actually gained a lot of popularity, like almost rivaling that of Slenderman in recent years. We got Siren Head. Oh my god, that picture is gigantic. So, Siren Head is a fictional character created by Trevor Henderson. We're going to be going over a lot of his characters in this series. He's created so many of them, but, yep, fictional character created by Trevor Henderson. Uh, sort of resembling like a giant, giant, like really tall entity with like little speakers on its head, like kind of like that you see in camp. Like, um, like if you ever watch the show Camp Lazo, it kind of looks like the speakers are like attention campers, like in the intro and everything. But um, he is seen in the woods, kind of standing there. He's really motionless most of the time, but when he wants to hunt, he's extremely fast. He pretty much lures you over, like acting kind of like a telephone pole or some kind of like speaker system and he then picks the person up and eats them so he's very very fast when he wants to be but a lot of the times he's very very motionless and stationary um the first um art trevor henderson ever made of siren head was him standing in a cemetery but siren head is mostly found in the woods and forests and all that where a lot of people kind of like to go out hike and stuff. That's where his main food source is people. Now, Siren Head has gained a lot of popularity over the past couple of years because um, there have been YouTubers like Jacksepticeye, Markiplier, um, a YouTuber named Billy Styler. They have been covering... Billy Styler did a video. He's been doing videos on Trevor Henderson's Monsters and Markiplier and Jacksepticeye. They have been playing some games involving Siren Head, and there is... Also, some other YouTubers as well. Um, probably not going to mention them all here because I don't know how many. There are a lot of YouTubers that covered this guy. But um, Donnie Bobes, the Minecraft YouTuber, recently did a mod, recently did an episode where he added a mod pack to Minecraft that actually allowed him to spawn Siren Head in the game and troll his brother and some other people. So he's a very, very, very popular character. And, he's, and he looks in this picture that I found of him. He looks really bony, like, and in his speakers on his head, that's where his mouths are. He has three different mouths, and you can see there's the one in the back that has a tongue coming out, the one with the teeth, and then the other one is another mouth as well. So he's got three mouths to eat people with, and he is, um, yeah, very, very dangerous. So kind of glad he's not real, but um, at the same time, too, there have been, like, those photographs and videos and stuff um, of people claiming to have seen Siren Head in real life. Of course, those are all fabrications. Um, but it's still really kind of cool to see how popular, um, Trevor Henderson's projects and creations have really come along. I really, really do enjoy these ones as well. Um, he makes a lot of really good monsters, and I'm gonna, definitely going to be covering some of those more in the future during the series, uh, as well as, like, creatures from creepypastas, and we can do some movie creatures as well, because there's a lot of creatures out there that would be very, very fun to cover. So if you guys like this video, be sure that like button. You can dislike it if you dislike it. I heard if you dislike this video, um, Siren Head will peek in your window in the middle of the night, and um, he will replace your alarm clock. You'll wake up, and he'll just be blaring his sirens at you, standing where your alarm clock used to be, or crouching, depending on where you have it. <laughs> and yeah, if you don't want Siren Head in your room at night, replacing your alarm clock, the only way to keep him at bay is to hit the like button on this video. Also, guys, if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button become a member of the Crypto Crew today. Every subscription means the absolute world to me, guys, and I always appreciate it. The family keeps on growing, and I love sharing my love of cryptids and the unknown and creepy stuff with you guys. So, well, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Um, I will see you guys on Wednesday for a cryptid ratings. Sorry, I was not able to film yesterday. It was kind of an odd day, but um, back in the swing of things, and getting these videos out so thank you guys so much you've been watching cryptocast i've been your host parker stay spooky and i'll see you guys in the next creepy characters all right guys take care bye